We're live at the Borderline Bar and Grill off of Rolling Oaks Drive, where 12 were shot and dozens were injured last night. The volunteers used this dolly system to deliver heavy dry goods to Malibu residents displaced by the Woolsey Fire. The most important message today is to stay away from the 101 freeway and try to take alternate routes through Simi Valley or Malibu on Canaan Road or Los Virgenes. Although the city of Malibu wants them to be on the move overnight, a Coastal Commission ruling means these RVs can secure their wheels and stay. After 34 days since the Woolsey fire roared into their town, Malibu High students are back in their classrooms. It's their second day back and they're seeing that the view from their campus is forever changed. I spoke with Olivia Damavandi, Jim Palmer and Lance Simmons earlier this morning. Three Malibu City Council candidates whose new workplace could be right behind me at City Hall. Thank you so much. By the way, by the way, oh, oh no, not if she wins, <laughs> when she wins as number one. Thank you, Stephen. Okay. All right, that's all for now. Back to you guys in the studio, Logan and Josie. That's right, surf's up. Why the Malibu Sharks are hanging 10 and more this season. From 42 degrees in Boston to 80 degrees in Los Angeles, now back at home base, the Dodgers are hoping to clinch their first win this World Series. Fire frequency in Los Angeles County is too wild to keep up with. Fire frequency was once every uh, 12 years today. It's once every 9.6 years. According to Pepperdine University biology professor Stephen Davis, humans are mostly to blame. The data is about 95% or more are caused by humans, either on purpose, we call that arson, or by accident. Professor Davis mentioned the three human causes that contribute to increased fire frequency, introduction of foreign vegetation, climate change, and increased population. The Woolsey Fire, one of the most recent wildfires, displaced thousands of California residents beginning on Thursday, November 8, 2018. The Paradise Cove relief effort in Malibu, California, sought to comfort these displaced residents. Literally within 10 minutes, we were on Nextdoor, we were on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, social media lit up. Bill Kerbox, president of Kerbox Media, took to social media using hashtag MalibuHope broadcasting that his friend, billionaire Howard Light, had offered up his yacht to deliver goods to displaced Malibu residents. Approximately 100 and some 100 plus gallons of diesel and 91 gas. We brought in 3,000 bottles of water. We brought in probably uh, 1,000 pounds of food. The volunteers use this dolly system to deliver heavy dry goods to the Malibu residents displaced by the Woolsey Fire. The crew here was so amped up. These are the guys who had been fighting fires. They were camping out. This was like the Malibu crew. Included in this Malibu crew was Pepperdine Senior Sports Admin Major Skylar Caputo, who heard about the Paradise Cove relief effort from Olympus Surf Shop in South Bay. I jumped on the boat and headed over. Though Skylar herself was displaced due to the Woolsey fire, she was motivated to help others by a lesson learned from her father. Being an asset to society rather than, you know, just sitting back and letting other people do the work. It was because of volunteers like Skylar that displaced Malibu residents were able to receive the items they needed. It was brilliant having the boats come in and drop off the food when we were basically roadblocked from the highway. Local event planner and artist Pamela LeGrant received goods herself as well as helped others obtain goods when all Malibu residents were evacuated from their homes. There were so many people that were homeless that would come every morning to us and they were so thankful just to have that warm cup of coffee and find out what was going on in the neighborhood. It was very emotional. While it was a yacht that enabled the Paradise Cove relief effort, it is simply the camaraderie amongst Malibu citizens that will continue to provide relief and Malibu hope in their time of need. Malibu stands up for its own. You know, Malibu takes care of itself. Rachel Ripp, Newswaves 32.